Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Seas. In the last episode we came over here to the Khan's Heart to pick up some souls for the cheery man, but we are actually on a quest to find the Empire of Hands. But that's what we'll be doing in this episode. Um, if anything sounds weird, it's because I had to reformat my PC and things did not transfer across as I was supposed to. Luckily, I managed to keep my save for Sunless Seas, so... All is well, but the microphone settings and things change, so if I do sound weird, not my fault. Right, uh, well it is my fault, but, you know, we'll just pretend it isn't. So we know that the Empire of Hands is somewhere over here. I'm thinking it's down below the shell on it. It could be up near Saviour's Rocks. Let's go find out, I suppose. Uh, our terror's looking fine. In fact, like supply-wise and, and stats-wise, we are doing... Surprisingly well, considering how far out we are. I will be trying to kill most things I come across. I am damaged. We have come across a few little bits of um, resistance. I won't be touching any drugs for a while, especially after the last episode where I got slammed again by the damn ministry. Ah, they, they just don't leave me alone, do they? It's not my fault, it's easy money. Right, um... Where do we go? Straight down? There's the lights? Aren't that good. <laughs> like, there isn't that many lights around here. Hmm, I could drop. Could I stop off in Khan's Shadow? There's not much point in stopping off in Khan's Shadow. And my other worry about being in this part of the world is that there's some particularly nasty stuff hanging around in these seas. Oh, there's something down there right now. What are you? Are you particularly nasty? Unfinished pirates. Let's go finish them off. Namely, because uh, it'll be a terror reduction. And they may maybe they'll drop some supplies. Lights on. On bad speed. Oh god, let's cut behind them so they don't shoot us. Oh dear, this is going to hurt. Ah, uh, it's fine. Been on a penny. We got this. You'll never catch me, I'm right behind you. Ha ha ha. One day we're going to come across gun, uh, ships that have guns on the back of them and it's going to be absolutely terrifying because I'm not going to be used to it. Damn it. The problem with this one is he's got quite a lot of health, all things considered. Uh oh. I risk the shot, have a wait. You've destroyed the unfinished pirates. Fragments of clay are littered across the deck. What do you have in here? Hey. Cache of curiosities. Ah, I've noticed something that hasn't transferred across. The size of the UI. <laughs> I was like, wow, this text is really small. A uh, stout crate. Free supplies. Hang on, let me just... Uh, video settings? UI scale. Let's just up that slightly. I, I can't remember what it's at. Was it UI scale? Was it font scale? I think it was font scale. Let's put it up to like 1.5. I honestly I don't remember what it was, so we'll, we'll mess around. Damn, I hate reformatting my computer. It's honestly it's the worst thing that's happened to me. For my streams, all my stream settings were gone. My recordings, all my recording settings are gone. My audio balance is all weird. Oh, it sucks. I thought I backed up everything, but well, you know, apparently that's not how it works. We do have something for Igol. There was a man in Igol who was asking for... What? Igol? I'd say it's A-I-G-U-L. Uh, who was asking for two solace fruit that I think we actually have in our hold. We've been carrying them for ages, yes. Maybe we should go and do that. That seems like a fair thing, doesn't it? The Melting Isles. Let's go have a look. Why not? It's on the way. Not very often we come this far out. I may stop at... Uh, Astival. If my terror doesn't go too crazy, it's it's getting up there though, which is... Uh oh! Oh, it's a fluke! A fluke, fluke, fluke! It's a fluke! Run! Run for your lives! Full, full speed ahead, peg it! Run! I am not messing with flukes. I have bad memories of flukes in sunless skies. I sure as hell ain't fighting them in sunless seas in a half-beaten boat. I think I would probably be okay if I was on full health, but I don't even know what to expect. We all know that flukes have the ability to kind of mess with the correspondence, so... 
They're quite powerful creatures. All things considered. I don't fancy my chances. Is I go under the waves? I'm starting to think it is now. Is it the, is it the fluky place? It's the spiky place, I remember. I haven't been here for a very long time. I feel like there was something horrible here. The station is pinned to the surface of Igol. Here we go. Bri bribe the first mate. The crew can't show you around. The first mate keeps the hatch keys. They rarely leave the engine room. But I'll come out for some solace fruit. Okay, first let's assemble a port report. Should we, should we, should we wait? Actually, maybe we'll increase that uh, compromised port report. Let's bribe the first mate. The first mate's features are softer than the average Londoners, as though they have become part rubbery man. Their skin is marked in dozens of places with shiny calcified ovals, around which the skin is reddened. You offer them the solace fruit, and they receive it reverently. They don't eat it in front of you, but withdraw through a hatch that is usually kept locked. They are gone a long time, and far off you hear a man's deep laughter. It is a surprising sound in the whispering ship. At last the first mate returns, fingers stained. Okay, so acquaintance with the first mate quality is now five. Uh, you have got sensitivity, one, and we lost one solace fruit. Oh, I thought we needed two. Oh, well. We now have one spare. So in order to ask the first mate for help finding the regret of the sensitive brother, we need to up, up his friendliness with us by the looks of things. Let's observe the first mate research. The kettle was a research vessel. Now, the first mate sometimes engages in research on the fluke spines that pierce the ship. This room is blocked by a thick spine at waist level. The spine is purple black, but the crew have been working at it with planes, grinding away a silvery powder. The powder is collected on mats and sieved into bottles. Our export, the first mate explains. It goes to station three. But that is not what we've come for. Station three is the place with that metal stuff, right? The first mate touches the spine and for a time their spirit is absent. Then from one of their few patches of unmarked skin, they grow a needle-shaped protrusion and snap it free. A memento of what I saw when my mind was with Igor. Okay, so we have a needle. Or we have the memory of a needle, which makes more sense. Uh, and we also have... Acquaintance with the first mate quality is now 10 because we watched him grow a needle. Here, we appear to be able to ask for help. We can eavesdrop if we want to. Voices echo in the coppery corridors. We can consume the three needles. I don't fancy. I don't fancy eating a needle. That sounds very unpleasant. Assembler compromised. Poor report. The first mate does not want an accurate report to reach the Admiralty. They will reward you with extra needles, they say. Hmm. Prayer, we can consume a needle. Press the spike into your own flesh. Know what it knows. A little worse than a tattoo, surely. Let's eavesdrop. You hear the tomb colonist and the surprisingly strong old woman bickering 
over a hand of cards. The captain, complaining about the bandage sticking to his thigh, you hear us. The scrape of metal as the new submarine docks, your own crew, talking about how the spines give them the shivers, your crew hears us too. The first mate is talking to the captain in a low voice about what they found in their last exploration. There are fresh needles in the collection. Oh, so we gained another needle and uh, 20 fragments. This whole thing seems very... bad. Especially after what I said about flukes. Let's ask the first mate for help finding the regret of the sensitive brother. The impervious sister awaits an answer. She has set a rendezvous at Hunter's Keep. Um, isn't she dead? I may be thinking of a different... I, I... Is she not one of the sisters? No? Different sister? Okay. Well, into the Fortas Kettle, the first mate leads you through the hatches, usually kept locked, down to the depths of the Fortas Kettle. They begin to limp more evidently, the further you descend. At last you've come to the engine room, where a spike of eyegull jabs through the hull. The engine is thoroughly destroyed, its furnace is cold, its great wheels will never turn again. The surface of Eigel is exposed to your touch. It shimmers. We make it beautiful on purpose. There is a shiny silver patch on the spike. We allow the silver to be harvested. Touch it with one hand. Touch our face. Okay, so the things in the brackets, it's talking to us. In our mind, I assume. The tunnel is skin tight. You descend face first. The wall presses the back of your head, urging you downward. You should not have come. The entry point of Igol is regret. No one enters Igol without. Though we can surface, surface, not today. You cannot do this today. Perhaps some other time you will be ready. Or we can descend. The Igol is made of needles. The inside of a needle is straight. Do we do this? This will take us off of our plan to find uh, the Empire of Hands, which is, you know, kind of the primary thing, but this is also incredibly interesting. So maybe... Maybe we will do this. Descend. Let's find out what's going on here. There is a scent of green, bitter things, a fermentation. Cactus pulp renders an acceptable wine. Someone once died in a desert, and you are transversing the cause of their death. They live long enough to regret. Here is the memory of a dying man seeing a vulture overhead. The sky. Okay, so commissioned to retrieve a regret quality is now 20. Begun drilling for regret. So we're here trying to farm regrets? Jesus. 47% chance on the tunnel branches. We tell you which way to go, but you do not understand. 47%? Let's flip that coin. The skin of the tunnel is rubbery. The rubbery men do not do what they are supposed to do. We try to improve them. Among humans, they are sad. We should have made them with more teeth. Among flukes, they disobey. We should pierce them with more spines. The passage circles on itself. It leaves you back where you began, but older. Time does not stop. Oh, we only gained one terror. That doesn't seem so bad. Should we try again? 
Come on, it's 47%. How bad can it be? It failed again. This is making my terror go up too much. I can't... One more time, and then we leave. Nope, failed again. Okay, we're leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. You draw your hand away from the spine, and at once you are restored to your own body. The tunnel no longer surrounds you. The subacuous pulse no longer beats in your ears. There is light in the engine room, even if it is only the dim glow of the ship's lamp. Uh, let's... Assemble a port report. You gather a description of the Fortas kettle, with a survey of its resources. You scrape away a little of the sealant, colour of amber and the texture of wax. That keeps out seawater where the hull is pierced by the spines of Igol. You sketch the arrangement of decks and hatches so far as you've been able to reach. But about the population, you cannot offer as much detail. The tomb colonist declines to be identified and the travelling postman laughs at you. Do I want to consume a, a, a needle? I feel like no. We'll be coming back here anyway, so... A small part of me wants to know what it does. Another part of me does not even want to... I don't even want to think about what it does. So let's let's just leave. And see if we can find the Empire of Hands. Uh, that is our original goal here. Something went whoop whoop whoop. But no, let's get, let's get out of the, uh, the deep underwater. Because I'm, I'm convinced the terror gain underwater is higher. Okay. I think it's down here. There's only one way to find out, and that's to go down here. There are 34. We are, we are kind of getting to the start, like the points where this could start getting problematic. I mean, we got some good music. Kill the crab. Oh, 300 health. Kill the crab. Kill the crab. Why not? I mean. Animal preservation is probably one of the main reasons you wouldn't try and do this, but... Or reverse. Let's go. Let's get out of here. All batteries, open fire, everything we got. I know you guys can't see the health bar, but... Neither can I. Never back down, never surrender. Oh dear, it's... It's gone under. Where are we at? 37. Oh my, it's coming. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we're okay. 37. 33, oh my god. Oh my god, that was worthwhile. That undid all of the damage I did. <laughs> it, uh... Right, I get past that tunnel. Uh, butchery for supplies. What have we got? Two supplies and an unpreprocessing mess. Um... Ghost cuts. Yeah, we lost 10 hunger. That's not so bad. Okay, so this is the Melting Islands, which doesn't really... Titalga Bay, or no? Tig Tiglar Bay? Oh, we gained a secret as well. Maybe I should uh, level up a bit more. Didn't I need those secrets for something? I feel like I needed those secrets for something at some point. I should probably look. I did have it written down, but my notes are just an absolute mess at this point. That's what I get for not focusing on tasks, huh? What are you? I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. <laughs> it's part of the Autumn Islands. Okay. On the plus side, on the way back, I guess we could hit Di uh, Dahut. Lower our terror there. I think we should be okay if we're very careful. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. What? Nope. Glorious Dreadnought. No. Nope. 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 Not even going to try. What's this? Three point? Is that the Dreadnought's light or is that just like a lighthouse? Are you the Empire of Hands? 
Something is around here. Hmm. Nothing has a bloody name. Very oh, there's a dock. Ah ha ha ha. Discover the Empire of Hands. Here it is. I really hope we can go under this bridge, otherwise this is gonna hurt. Wait, they've got an airship? I want an airship. Wait, wouldn't that make crossing the Z incredibly easy? I kind of feel like that should be the way to go. There's probably some law reason why it sucks. Ah. A stern reminder from the Admiralty. In the name and by her, the power of her enduring majesty, a trade embargo and quarantine in absolute perpetuity has hereby been declared on the Empire of Hands. 1. No ship of London is to permit aboard a Pentecost ape without express and prior permission from the Admiralty. Any and all acts of spirifage are prohibited. 3. They know what they did. Beware of stowaways, keep a tight grip on your soul. Oh god. Excerpt from the Standard Naval Regulations, Volume 4. Okay, so this place is under embargo. And the Admiralty do not like what is here. And should I be worried that they mentioned apes? Pentecost apes? Hmm. Well, we have one option. The flea-ridden mayor. With the regulations in mind, it is a surprise to be greeted by a mere itchy monkey in a tattered yellow robe, barely walking with the help of a ceremonial staff. I really, really wanted to give this monkey a posh accent, like, Hello! cries the mayor, but that's probably not fitting for a monkey. On the other hand, Hello! cries the mayor in a broken voice of one not yet used to human speech. Come, make yourselves at home, all souls welcome in bountiful empire of hands. The crew shifts uncomfortably. You know the stories. It will take more than the natural beauty of this place to make most of them risk shore leave here. Okay, well first place I'm going to look is the shop. No, nope, nothing there. Uh, well, there's two. We got Port Stanton and we have Zailing, the Empire of Hands. Let's start at the top and work our way down if we can. Port Stanton. Soul hungry monkeys reluctantly tend this trading post waiting for an opportunity to escape. Bloated fleas hop from ape to man and man to ape, gorging themselves without a care for which is which. This does not sound fun. Uh, we could have shore leave here. Or we can have an audience with the flea ridden mayor. He is not busy. No appointments are required. Or we can pre prepare a comprehensive port report. You have reasons to brave the waters this far east, especially with the trade embargo. The Admiralty will pay especially well for an up-to-date intelligence. Oh, the, the Sovereign Lands. Heartsake Island. Fountainhead Island. And Ash Istamus. I don't know how to do those. I'm assuming that's sailing the Empire of Hands. Uh, gather strategic information for the Admiralty. This is what one of the reasons we came here. The Admiral commissioned you to gather information here at the Empire's Edge. That's difficult, but you could pick up a few scraps. Hmm. It, this will give you an intriguing snippet. If you can penetrate the court on Sovereign Island, you may be able to do better. Should we wait? Let's have an audience with the Mayor. The flea-ridden mayor scratches himself on a chair made of crates, surrounded by boxes of long, rotten trade goods. As a five-souled ape, he would be able to petition for membership of court. For now, 
The trade embargo has left him trapped on the outside, a three-souled overseer with no talent for order. You know, that's, that, that started off strong, not gonna lie. That started off very strong. In better times, being overseer of Port Stanton gave the encumbrant their pick of visitors to the Empire. Now, it is as thankless a task as any to be found in the Neath. We can sell our soul to the Mayor. Now, I've played Fallen London and I've lost my soul in Fallen London and I'm quite attached to my soul in Sunless Seas. He doesn't have much to offer, but if you aren't using it, hmm? Uh, no, the, my, my soul, you cannot have it, even for 200 Echoes. Uh, we can acquire fresh supplies. Oddly little in the Empire of Hands is natural bounty is edible. The monkeys will help you find the edible stuff for a fee. Acquire emergency food. Fuel, got fu fuel. The flea-ridden man nods quickly. Not cheap, not free, can be arranged. London money, okay. Put on table, look on docks. Yes? Uh, this fuel will cost a hefty 40 echoes per barrel. Jesus Christ. No thank you. Note to self, getting fuel out here, quite expensive. Use ourself. I'm guessing then. Oh, the Zeppelin. Intense work is underway across the bridge. What's at the Zeppelin? So yeah, I guess what we should do is zail the Empire of Hands and see if we can find out some of the uh, the scouting opportunities. Two monkey guards wielding rifles and rusty bayonets block the bridge. This is not for your eyes, outsider. Avert them. Walk away. Walk faster. Good, human. Well, they obviously don't like me very much, do they? Okay, well, sailing the Empire of Hands. Communal wooden boats offer free passage to all travellers willing to row between the islands. These are all the places we need to look for. Okay, a wooden palace stretches across the whole island. Passage to it lit by a field of tiny glim boys. Many boats circle the island, all keeping their distance. The one that gets closest is an extended rowboat painted in yellows, whites and reds. Four servant monkeys strain at the oars. While it's true, passenger sits in comfort behind a gauze curtain. For a moment, an eye catches yours, but only for a moment. It would not do for a high-souled ape to see something so beneath its notice. Of their whole social structure is based on how many souls they have, which is just nuts. Gain access to the court. We need a gift for the Monkey Emperor. Oh dear. Well, I don't know how we're going to get one of those. Uh, let's go back to the boat. The guards stare as you row away. It will take some effort to ingratiate yourself here. Perhaps if you could find something on one of the other islands. Good idea. Let's go to Fountainhead Island. Wait, is it? Oh no, no, it's got rid of it. Never mind. I was like, wait, is, is it randomizing the order? But no, okay, we'll start at the top. Ash. Ishtmus. Neither man nor ape claims this volcanic remnant between islands. Haunted, they say. Ridiculous. The trip offers a little time to think on the penties. Technically, they are monkeys rather than apes. But it is not tactful to remind them of this. To their high-souled faces, the accepted name is Pentecost Apes. In private, though, the Bloody Monkeys is about as common. It is, one might say, an ad hominoid insult. Black beaches give way to an oasis of gently glowing trees and the scent of rotting flowers. Let's enter the forest. Parasynthetic vegetation thrives in the Empire of Hands. Fertile soil and cool humidity. 
Wide, natural paths run between clumps of trees, softly lit by a dim green glow and the occasional glimmer of old stars through the canopy. Only the cracking of leaves and the soothing sounds of water break the serenity of this volcano-forged paradise. Ah, we can hunt for supplies. Not many of the plants and berries here are familiar, but some of them at least look similar to the ones we were being that were being eaten in Port Stanton. That seems far too dangerous. So let's relax in the hot spring. Steam and a hint of sulphur gently rise from a secluded natural pool flanked by trees and mushrooms. You slip out of your itchy clothes and into the welcoming caress of hot, deep water. The salts and sweats of zailing life melt away as you simply float, bare and free. Above, all stars glimmer bright enough to be worth wishing on. All around, the glow of the trees casts ambient calm on the silent peace. How long has it been since you had a moment like this? Since London? Longer? We lost five terror. Very good. Or well, we can have a thought for our lover, our child, or our past, future, east, z. Oh god, lots of thoughts. Um. So, a likely last doing right now. Are you on her mind as she is on yours? We can have a thought for our child. One day, you will bring them here, to this place. Or will it be you hearing tales of adventure in impossible lands? It's going to be one of the top of the bottom. Let's go with the thought for the lover. The noise, the passion, the delightful filth. The hot water hugs you tight as you remember her touch. Your last words before departing. That half smile, almost, but not quite blossoming into completeness. How long will it be before you feel the touch of skin on skin once again, or wake to see her sleeping brow, always so furrowed, as soft and calm as the Z itself? Wait, what was that? How did like giggling? Thought? A tiny blonde girl perches watching on a rock. Her innocent grin is spiced with mischievous glee. She moves like a monkey, but she giggles like an imp. At the look on your face at being caught bathing in her hot spring, and the one that floods onto it as she scoops up your clothes. Oh. Well. We just had our clothes stolen by a child. Shipwrecked as a baby, raised by the Empire of Hands, she now plays between the worlds of apes and men. Neither quite one, nor entirely the other. Though we can demand that she puts those down at once. At once, you shout, or there will be trouble. Or a desperate swim. Curse these relaxed limbs. Um, let's go go with desperate uh, I don't really want to shout at a child go with a desperate uh, uh, a desperate swim the monkey foundling makes things interesting she waits grinning innocently until you emerge from the hot spring with nothing but your strategically placed hands for modesty before you can get close enough though, she bolts from her crouched position and into the forest on all fours. A scampering run that turns every rock and fallen tree into a springboard. Empire of Hands, a quest for dignity, oh no. Oh, chase the monkey foundling or eye upon them, let them stare. So chase it, damn it, you cannot return to the crew like this, or let their tongues volunteer them for a whipping. Uh, let's go with 
Eh, let them stare. An awkward return. You stride back on board your ship, eyes locked straight ahead, and daring anyone to comment. They do not. In the days that follow, however, word is brusquely spread throughout the crew that anyone else heard singing that song will be swimming the rest of the way home. That song soon becomes a bawdy staple in the singing mandrake. It is not a fame to be envied. Well, we did lose five terror. You know, small victories and all of that. We may be famous for being the naked captain of the Empire of Hands, but we did lose five terror. So before I carry on here, because we've got a couple of islands left, I need to end the episode. It has come up. It's run a bit long because I went to Igul first. So I am going to thank you all very much for being here. This Empire of Hands place seems very interesting. Uh, please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.